Y'all, I got a new succulent for my birthday from my in-laws. She's not doing great, but we're gonna, we're gonna fix her up or make her worse, but I hope we don't make her worse. Okay, and by we, I mean me. Hey, RBG, what's crackle Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button if you want to get notified when I post. If you're not new here, welcome back. We have seen this person before that we're going to react to and do commentary on today. I want to say a few things before we start, but first, don't forget to follow my other social medias. I'm on Instagram and I'm on TikTok at walkin underscore on underscore Lexapro. You can see more everyday anti-scam, anti-MLM content on those channels. Channels. Profile? Before we get started, I do want to say that we are going to react to Brittany Anderson today. We've had her on my channel a few other times and she is direct to Jesse Lee Ward from what I know. I want to say a few things and... I think it's important to note this for anyone I react to that is under Jesse Lee. None of them are as bad as Jesse Lee. They aren't. I truly believe that they are manipulated by Jesse Lee to see something that is not completely true. And here's why I believe that. Because if they were as bad as Jesse Lee is, they wouldn't be able to be under Jesse Lee. They would make their own empire of a sort. They wouldn't be able to follow Jesse Lee like they follow her right now. So we're gonna go into this and I try my absolute best to always be respectful of people. I think that this is an important realization that I had and I think it's also important that maybe one day they watch these and go, wow, yeah, that's true. Or wow, okay, that is manipulative or wow, that is not good. But as I've said before, and as many people in the anti-MLM community say often, we can't just say these things happen without showing proof. We can't say, oh, they manipulate people. Oh, they just do this, they do that, and then not actually show what's going on. That's what this video is for. I am reacting to it with my own opinion and my education on MLMs. I think it's time that we just get started. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit because you know she's a little loud. Hi, beautiful humans. What's up? What's happening? How is everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. First off, I of course hope that you are having a fantastic day so far. It's me again. I promised you guys I would come live every single day with some tips to build your online business that no matter what product you sell, no matter what service you offer, you can apply these tips into your daily routine. And I will say I have not watched this. We are blind reacting, so... Let's hope it's good. I'm tired. I saw this was only 15 minutes. I've had finals all week long and I have one more on Friday. It's Wednesday currently. So I'm, I'm pretty exhausted at this point. I've had five already. If I gotta see, you gotta see it. So we're in it together. Put your commentary below, please. I would love to hear what you have to say. Be respectful and please don't go and say anything to her or go to her profile at all. Thanks your online business and you can explode to the next level of your business, okay? If you are catching me live and you would like to grow your business and have the best business year ever in 2022, I need you to drop in all caps GROW in the comments below because if that is the case, I need you to do me a favor and turn on live notifications because I'm about to give you lots and lots of information, especially over the next 30 days. We're going all in and we are giving you industry profession generic information on how to grow your business at a crazy crazy rate okay like let's talk about 5xing our business in 2022 okay so business training like for everyone that's pretty much what she said like for any mlm business so if you're a business owner i do want you to react to this uh please especially you if you could comment below like what you think about this she could have some good points Maybe she doesn't, maybe she does. I don't know, I haven't seen it. It's called Four Strategies to Launch Your Biz Daily. It's time to win every day before it even starts. Drop your favorite tip below and share with a friend building an online business. And there's the hashtag. So yeah, especially if you own a small business or a business of any kind that's not MLM, let me know if this is relevant. 
Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to start with some very basic things that if you aren't doing these things, you're probably not setting yourself up for the best success possible every single day. So let's go ahead and talk about it, okay? If y'all could do me a favor, if y'all are catching me live, drop that word live in the comments below. Let me know that you are here. I see y'all creeping and watching. Shout out live in the comments below. If y'all are catching the replay, again, turn on those live notifications. I'm watching you. Just a tip probably super awkward to say that in this way especially when it's pertaining to turning on the live notifications like saying I'm watching you is kind of freaky I don't want to turn on live notifications I shouldn't feel obligated to because you're watching me that's unsettling that's weird no it's mm. true it's true ahead and drop below that hashtag replay if you are new to my broadcast welcome to the organized cake what should you drop below as a hashtag what should we do maybe like hashtag drop below hashtag potato because her upline let me know what i look like or what i am she called me miss potato head jesse lee if you want to go watch that video uh so drop hashtag potato or I don't know, maybe your favorite food, hashtag potato, hashtag french fries. <laughs> that works out for me, I guess. Uh, hashtag sushi, meh. Okay, let's keep going. Chaos, that is the BA Boss Babe Show. I do not believe that anybody comes across this page on accident. If you are here, it is very much on purpose and for a purpose. So both of those things are true. This wasn't an accident. So welcome home, so excited that you are here. And as always, guys, feel free to share. Share with your uplines, sidelines, downlines, whoever, and tag some friends in the comments below that you want to see have the best business year ever in 2022, okay? I don't know about you, but if my friends aren't tagging me for success in 2022, I don't really know how good of friends we are, okay? If your friends aren't tagging you for success in 2022, you don't know how good of friends you are? I hope that's a joke. I hope that she's joking, but... Considering the fact that she wants people to tag their friends so bad, guilting people <laughs> into tagging them is not a good idea. Don't do it. Ooh. Stop. So let's, so let's go ahead and talk this. about this. I want you guys, want you guys to think about how you how would feel and what your outlook, outlook on your business, on your business would, would look like, look like or would feel like if you truly, truly felt that you were setting yourself, that you were setting up, yourself for up for the best success possible, possible every single, single day. day every, single every day. okay so setting yourself up for the best success possible in an mlm if you want the best success i recommend not an mlm <laughs> just because we know that the aarp says 75 to 99 percent of people actually don't make money the ftc says it's closer to 99 percent that don't make money i mean there's so much said about it that if you want to be successful mlms are not the route to go how much would you be able to share your true passion and your true joy and your true excitement around your business if you felt like by the time you sat down to begin your work day, you already felt successful? You're like, you know what? I haven't even sent a single message yet and I feel on fire. I feel set up for success. I'm so excited to share the message and mission that is my business because I'm already so fired up. These four strategies that I'm about to give to you will, will help you to feel that way if you actually do them, okay? So I want you guys to feel successful and feel like you're already winning your day before you ever even sit down and touch your business. If that sounds good, do me a favor and drop a yes in the comments below. I think it's odd this thought of you have to feel successful every day. Like with my job, once I graduate, I, it's, I mean, I don't really have to wake up and go, how am I gonna feel successful today? Like, I'm just gonna go to work and do something I enjoy and take care of people and come home. It's not about success. I've already done the successful part, you know, finishing school or by then I would have. Personally, I, I'm currently successful right now with my, with my finals, but like, I don't have to wake up every day and go, I need to be successful today. That, that doesn't fit with, I think, at most people's normal day. Like, I guess it depends on what success success looks like for you. For me, it's just waking up and going and doing what I have to do. Like, going to school, 
coming home, playing Animal Crossing, cleaning or working out or taking the dogs on a walk or, I mean, it, it, but it's not like at the forefront of my mind, like I'm successful today. I don't, I think that's an odd way to look at your day. I don't know how healthy it is either uh, because let's say I don't work out. I don't think I'm not successful that day. I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's odd. Tell me what you think below. Tell me what you think. Okay. So number one, I've got four strategies here to help you launch your business every single day. First tip that doesn't count in one of the four, we do not launch our businesses on the first of the month. We do not launch our businesses on the first of the year. We make the decision to launch our businesses every single day, every single day. So this isn't one of the four strategies, but make sure you are starting your day with the decision to launch your business today. You literally can only launch your business once though, essentially like you, I get the idea of launching your business every day, just meaning like do it, you know, I don't know, like you were excited the very first day you started, but you can't literally launch your business every day. Also, what business per se, because what you do is sell products to people and you get people join your downline so that you can make money off of them selling products. I mean, you don't have a business. You are a 1099 contract worker for a company. It's not really a business. Every single day, one day at a time, okay? Strategy number one to set yourself up for the best success possible to help you launch your business every single day is stop hitting the snooze. Stop hitting the snooze. This literally makes you feel like a failure before you ever even put your feet on the ground because you had a mission to get out of bed at 7 a.m. and you failed that mission. I'm not putting that on you. You guys are thinking that. You are starting out your day feeling like you already have one task that is on the failed side of your to-do list. So a few ways to do this is set your alarm for a realistic time. If you know that you need to be out of bed, no negotiation by 720, why are you setting your alarm for 645? Because I gotta press news at least six times before I actually get up. I have one for like 630, 645, 650. One week later. Seven, 715, 720, 730. Like for real, for real, uh, because I know how I work and I know that I got to press snooze multiple times before I actually get up. I, I'm still successful. I, I get up, but like I got to press snooze a lot. That's the best way it works for me. If I get up like right at 630, oh my gosh, I'm just dragging. That might sound odd to people. I don't know. If you get it, you get it. If you're a snoozer, like a snoozer, you know? I don't know. Is that weird? Maybe you get it. You're setting yourself up for failure. You already know before you close your little peepers at night, you already know you have a zero intention. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? Please. I mean, I get energy is important and I don't think energy is a bad thing at all. I just, there's a difference between having energy and what you do and what you say and, and just yelling. I'm getting out of bed at 6.45. You set your alarm at 6.45 so you can snooze six times and still be out of bed on time. Stop setting yourself up for the first failure of the day before you ever even get out of bed, okay? So set your alarm for the time that you need it. And then get out of bed with it, okay? You have 60 seconds after that alarm goes off to have your feet on the ground. The best way that I have found to stick to this is every single morning I get up, I put my feet on the ground without pressing the snooze button and I take a picture of myself. I use Instagram, I put it in my Instagram stories with that little timestamp of what time it is. So you're saying I can't set my alarm at 6.30 and snooze it until 7.20, 7.30 because that's the best thing that works for me. I have, I have to set it just for 7.30 and get up with it or have to get up with my first one. But no, like that's not what works best for me. Everyone's different. And I'm still successful when I get up at 7.30. Also, if you snooze your 7.30 alarm, guess what? You're not a failure for the day either. And you didn't fail that task. Why is it a task? 
I just, the way it's looked at is just odd. I, I get that it works best for some people to get up on their first alarm, but this is way, this is made way bigger of a deal than it actually should be. In my opinion, of course, maybe you think differently. Because you can't fake it. You can't change it. You can't mess it up. Whatever time you take that selfie is the time that is going to be on the Instagram story timestamp. Your audience is an extra level of accountability. Okay. Yo, I'm just letting you know right now, I'm not showing you what I look like right when I wake up. I mean, have I? Sure. But I like every day, no, sorry. Bro, my hair when I wake up. <laughs> one day I'll do it. Go to my Instagram, follow it. I'm gonna do it one day. Like I sleep in tomorrow, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna go, Julie, don't do it again. <laughs> Just, Julie Joe, stop, please. <laughs> it's fine, um, but yikes. Nope, you're not gonna catch me doing it more than once just for funsies. Okay, if that makes sense, I want you to drop snooze in the comments below. So we're gonna stop snoozing so we start our day with a win instead of what mentally feels like a failure. If that feels good, drop sleep in the comments below. Sleep, get good sleep. Okay, strategy number two. Okay, I know that we work from home and it's cool that we can work from the couch or that we can work on our PJs, or that we can rock our little mom buns and we can like do the do. That's so cool to have that flexibility. But what I need you to do if, only if, you are trying to up level your business. If you're happy with where your business is, skip number two, don't even worry about it. But if you are looking to up level, if you are looking to increase your impact, if you are looking to step into a more elite version of yourself, then I need you to do number two. And that is change your clothes and get ready for the future you. So you're telling me that I have to change my clothes and get ready for the day to do a YouTube video to level up? I've leveled up wearing my pajamas almost every single time. I think I'm good. No, you don't have to do that. If you work best in your mom bun and your PJs on the couch, AKA me, uh, I mean, I'm not wearing, I don't have a mom bun. I just have a, a bun bun, I guess. <laughs> then that's fine. You can level up without having to do this. I, some people might work best this way, but not everyone does. So you can't say, this is how you're going to level up. If you don't want to do this and you want to stay where you are, fine. You can't say that because they can level up, essentially, with air quotes, without getting ready for the day. There is a message attached to your clothes. It's the same reason you can't work from your bed. Because your mind says, oh, I'm in bed. I need to go to sleep. Oh, I'm in bed. I'm getting tired. When you're still wearing your pajamas, your body is saying, we should be sleeping. We should be sleeping. I'm so tired. My eyes are so heavy. I'm ready for a nap. I'm ready to go to sleep. I didn't know your pajamas talked to you like that. <laughs> Bit odd. My bed doesn't talk to me either. I wish it would tell me to go to sleep. I wish my bed was like sleep and then let me fall asleep quickly. That would be nice. Your pajamas talk to you? Let me know in the comments below. Get really comfy and cozy and warm and just kind of chill out and, and doze off a little bit. Change your clothes. No, I don't want to. And I work just fine in my pajamas on my couch with my pillow and my blankets and my dog snuggling in my lap. I work just fine. I study just fine that way. My grades say, you're good, Julie Jo. You don't have to do all this extra stuff to level up, as she would say. Change your clothes. Do not work your business in the clothes that you just slept in. Again, I want you to think about your future self. If you want to be making $2,000 a month, if you want to be a six-figure earner, if you want to be a seven-figure earner, how do Why are you saying that, VA yeah, boss babe? Jessie Lee doesn't even have seven figure earners. Not one person in her downline is a seven figure earner, at least that she's working with. Odd, huh? And she makes a lot of money. You think that she could help someone get to seven figures, but. <sighs> Interesting.
Definitely what the number one network marketer in the world would do, right? How does the seven figure earner version of you show up? Probably not in your pajamas. Probably not with unbrushed hair. Maybe it's not a full face of makeup, but you probably brush your hair. Okay, you probably have your eyebrows under control. You may or may not have a manicure. You I can't even have a manicure for school, <laughs> for my job. So, at least for school and for clinicals. Manicure, I don't even get a manicure. Imagine, imagine me with like pointy nails. <laughs> That'd be fun though. Maybe I will once I graduate. But manicure, I want to say if you're watching this, you're like, but Julie Joe, I like to do that. You know, it makes me feel better. That's great. I hope, I hope you do those things that do make you feel better. If getting up, getting dressed and, and, you know, doing whatever you need to do, like what she's talking about makes you feel better and it gets you ready and gets you prepared. Great. I love that. Do it. However, the fact that she's saying you need to do this stuff if you want to level up your business is the issue. You probably are wearing clothes that fit you. So if you don't have clothes that fit you, go get them. Okay, I want you guys to think about all of these things. Yes, it's cool to work in our pajamas, but 100% of the time, you are more productive when you switch out of your pajamas and get dressed. Cite your source. What, you're gonna you're gonna confidently say 100% of the time. What drives me nuts about people in MLMs, and, and this is a great example, is how they think they know it. They, 100% of the time, you don't know that. You absolutely do not. There's, no, <laughs> what are you saying? They confidently think that they know exactly what they're saying to be true, but it's not necessarily true. And 100% of the time, that's just not a statistic you can use. 100% of the time, you are more productive if you brush your hair, straighten it, curl it, do whatever, even do a cute braid with a little side ponytail or something. Spend some time on your appearance and 100% of the time, you will be more productive than if you didn't brush your hair, you didn't brush your teeth, you stayed in your pajamas and you worked from the couch. 100% of the time because your mindset is different. I'm prepared to win. I'm setting myself up for success. It's time to be elite. I'm showing up as the most elite version of myself possible. I think this is a great example of what they feel like they have to do. Even if they don't actually work that way, they feel like they have to do this. I felt like I had to do it. I'd get up, I'd get ready for the day. And I work best in a relaxed setting where I feel comfortable and where I let loose and just relax. I work and study best in that setting. This is not how I work best. And the fact that I think her and, you know, everyone in her downline probably, in my opinion, a lot of people, she's saying this because she feels like this is how you have to do it to be better. And it's just interesting to me. It must be so exhausting to live that. So exhausting. Because I want to scale my business, okay? If that makes sense, drop get ready in the comments below, okay? The next one is I need you to create a permanent workspace. I know not everybody has an office. I didn't have an office for two and a half years. I'm very well aware that not everybody has an office. I don't care if your permanent space is at the end of your dining room table. I don't care if it's one of those like TV dinner, like pop-up trays in your closet. I don't care what it is. It doesn't need to be photogenic. It doesn't need, need to be next level. It doesn't need to be exquisite and like it would be on the front of a Home and Gardens magazine. It just needs to be yours. Why is she saying this when everyone, well, I guess not everyone, the majority of people, and even MLMs themselves say so you get time freedom. You you can do this from anywhere. But yet people are saying you have to make a permanent space to do it in. And that's when you work best. And if you're not doing it in that space, you're probably not going to level up. Weird. They go back and forth all the time. But I guess whatever fits her narrative. And it needs to be permanent. Find a spot that no matter what is yours. 
It's not where the mail's collected. It's not where the kids throw their backpacks. It's not where you prepare dinner. It's not where you eat dinner. It is a permanent space that is owned by you. It is a permanent space that is owned by BA Boss Babe Enterprises and your stuff does not enter my workspace. This is my place of business. This is where I build our future. This is where I build our legacy. This is where I create a business that gets passed down to my children. This is my space. Claim your space every single day. Every single day, I want you to find that permanent space. Once you have established that permanent space, your homework every single day then is to declutter your space every single day. Before you send a single message, your office needs to be cleared of clutter. 100% of the time, you will be more productive if your space is clear than if your space is cluttered. 100% of the time, Brittany, you can't be sure of that and you need to stop that narrative. No. If I tried to clean my space, I wouldn't know where anything would be. <laughs> like I know where everything is in my cluttered space and it works just great for me and I'm gonna level up without having to clean it. This pressure to do these things is so weird. 100% of the time, really? 100? Yes or yes, drop. I agree if you agree that your brain functions with less distractions when your space is tidy. Take a look around your space. When you're looking at all of the things, does it make you feel overwhelmed? Subconsciously, your brain is distracted because there's stuff. Okay, so create a workspace. And then the second part of that, once you have established a workspace, is clean that workspace. Declutter, get rid of anything that you don't use on a daily basis. It does not need to be in your workspace if you don't use it every day. Keep your workspace minimal. You don't need everything you've ever used for your business. This, I think, is good for small businesses, right? Like when you're, you have a specific place you work from, and whatnot. But MLMs, you're supposed to be able to take it wherever you are. I just, they are using these things that truthfully don't necessarily help their MLM out. I mean, maybe it helps her out mentally, organization wise, but that's not how MLMs are meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. I guess they can be whatever they want. I mean, I think they're a scam, personally, but they're supposed to be able to have that freedom to travel. I, I just, it's so odd hearing these come out of her mouth and go, wait a minute. I thought you're supposed to be able to work it wherever you want. Like, I thought that was kind of like the MLM sh shebang, you know? Interesting. I think what she's saying here is a good idea for people who actually own small businesses or maybe people who are uh, like me, a college student. Now, I personally, it doesn't bother me. Like I don't have to tidy up every single day, um, like my office space. I don't really have an office, I'm in my kitchen. Uh, but that's, no, I just don't think that's a big deal. But again, 100% of the time, you're gonna be able to level up. And the idea of if you don't do this, you're not going to level up. I hate those words together now. You're not gonna succeed or achieve what you want to. That idea is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous declutter and get organized number four are you guys ready for number four if y'all are getting some value from this do me a favor and drop a 10 in the comments below and share this video with at least one person okay that's all i'm going to ask you drop that word share in the comments below once you share and then i'm going to wrap up with this final tip my final strategy that i have for you okay the final final strategy that i have for you Okay, thank you guys so much for sharing. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jacqueline. Hello, hello. Okay, the last thing is set a start time for your day. Get consistent. You cannot start working your business at 7 o'clock one day and 10 o'clock one day and 1 o'clock one day and 5 o'clock the next day. What? That's what MLMs say they're all about. You can work it wherever you want, whenever you want to work it. 
Like that, that is something in particular that they push. Anyone can do this because anyone can work it. You don't have an excuse. Time is not an excuse. Well, apparently it is. Your body is like, what are we doing? Where are we going? What's the schedule? What's the flow? What's- You know what my body's saying? I beg to differ. Next, how do I do this? And yes, you can work that way. But again, if you're trying to up-level your business and that's what you're currently doing, do you feel like everything is in flow? Starting some days at five, some days at eight, some days at 11, some days at four in the afternoon, some days at five, 5 7, 8, 10, 12. Does that feel good to you? I can almost guarantee you your answer is no. I need a better schedule. You can almost guarantee me my answer is no. What freaking is it's yes. My answer is yes. It feels good to me to do it whenever the frick I want. Maybe I want to play Animal Crossing for an hour and then study for 30 minutes and then Animal Crossing for 30 minutes and study for an hour. Who cares? And I can do it whenever I want because I have the freedom to. And it's odd that with MLMs, you're saying you need to have a set time. You do not get to do it whenever you want. If you do it whenever you want, you're not going to be successful. Weird just a weird narrative that she's trying to make it's this weird sense of like control that she's I think she's maybe not necessarily trying to control people but she's learned this probably from her upline Jesse Jessica and so now she feels like she needs to share it and it's just a weird sense of control to have over people so I'm not gonna ask you to plan out every single five minutes of your day because that overwhelmed you me just saying that some of you but set a start time for your business day and by the time that start time comes around, you need to be up and out of bed without pressing the snooze button. You got to change your clothes and be ready to step into the future you. Create your workspace or clean up that workspace and be ready to clock in at whatever your start time is for you. This is so different than what the Arbon training talked about. If y'all remember, um, my previous video I did was with my husband. You should go watch it and I'll link it up here. Uh, and about like his perspective. But then the one I did before that, I was reacting to an Arbon Sunday skills or skills Sunday video. And that person was saying like this, you can work it whenever you want. That's how the business is business. It's so funny how they use that word nonchalantly, but this is the exact opposite. It's so crazy. I mean, imagine, imagine you going and saying, yeah, I just don't think I have the time to do it in my schedule. You know, I work all day. I go uh, to a workout class after I work. I come home. I have kids. You know, like imagine telling her that. You think she's going to say, you're right, because you have to have a start time and an end time. No, she's going to say this is the perfect option because you can work it when you want to. I do not believe in this whole the early bird gets the worm. I think it's bull honky, okay? I'm definitely getting the worms not starting at four o'clock in the morning. So find a consistent time that works for you. Maybe you have to get the kids up. You have to get ready. You have to get them ready. You have to pack lunches. You have to take them to school and then come back. Then you got to walk the dog and feed the dog and do all the things. So maybe your start time is 930, but get consistent with it. 930 every day, 930 every day, just like you have to clock in for a job. If you had a nine to five job, you wouldn't show up some days at seven, some days at nine, some days at two. Sorry, boss, a little bit of a crazy day, but here I am. It's two o'clock. Be thankful. If you had a nine to five job, you'd be getting paid hourly or an annual wage. You'd be getting paid for the time that you're there. You don't in MLMs, okay? You would be militant about being on time, being on time, being on time, being on time. That way your brain knows, I have to be out of bed at this time. I have to be in the shower at this time. I gotta be out of the shower at this time. I gotta be dressed at this time. I gotta do my hair and be done by this time. I gotta make sure I have five to 10 minutes to clean up my workspace and then boom, I'm ready to sit down and clock in at 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, whatever. But Again, this is blowing my mind. I, I know you're probably like, Julie Joe, but you're like sleeping. No, I'm not. I'm just tired, but I'm exhausted. This is, this is blowing my mind because what she's saying is, no, you don't have the time freedom. You need to get it done, get it here, start here, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what? Which is it? Uh-huh. I don't know. Whatever works for you. 
but get consistent with what time your business day starts, okay? If y'all could do me a favor, if y'all got some value from that, because now you have the tools to set yourself up for success and start every single day with a win, with a win, with a win, with a win, with a win. No more failures, no more feeling like we're falling short. We're starting the day with four wins before we ever even begin our business day, okay? If y'all could do me a favor, if y'all got some value from that, please drop a 10 in the comments below and feel free to tag a friend or two. Again, you- I thought this was such an interesting training because I think some of it's good in the sense that for actual small businesses, it makes sense on some of her points, but for MLMs, it's almost the opposite of what they say. Wow. My mind's blown. This was so interesting. Again, I didn't watch this before we got together and watched it together before we got together and watched it. There we go words thanks for staying this long don't forget to leave your commentary below what do you think about this uh the 100 thing the idea that you have to do this and have to do that to level up i think is so weird now some of these aren't bad ideas uh, but in the sense of mlm it's just not what is preached to the people who have excuses to not join you know how they use that so thank you for watching let me know what you think below leave a comment uh leave a like if you enjoyed the video hit subscribe if you want to see more and hit the bell if you want to get notified when i post uh, feel free to become a member if you'd like you get discord chat uh videos early a little more access and conversation i i really enjoy the the discord a lot if you don't want to no biggie uh, watching it's plenty. <laughs> Thank you for staying this long. And yeah, I'm almost done with finals. God bless. I hope you have the most amazing morning, afternoon, evening, and night, wherever you are and wherever you're watching this. I'll see you next time.